Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how I make my own DIY stickers at home using a cry cut. So specifically I'm using a cry cut joy which does not support print and cut function like the full size versions do. However, there is a workaround for this. So if you're interested in seeing how that goes, keep watching. So what you will need for this tutorial is of course a cry cut joy machine. You will need scissors. You will need some type of adhesive paper. So you can either purchase some sticker paper off of Amazon or in store, or you can use what I'm using, which is label paper I already had. Of course, if you want that glossy finish instead of a matte finish, you're going to need some packing tape, which I have here. You're gonna need the pen and the knife that comes with the Cry Cut Joy machine. And of course your mat. I'm using the smaller size mat. You do not need the large extended mat unless you want to. But this tutorial will not be covering how to use that mat. So if you have all your materials, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So first I'm starting off on the website Canva. It's a free to use website that you can make posters, thumbnails, all kinds of things. For this, we're going to be making a custom design. So you're going to want to hit custom size at the bottom. And we're going to go over to the right here and we're going to switch the PX to inches. Next, we're going to be putting in four by six so that the stickers fit comfortably inside the board and we don't have anything going off the sides that'll mess up the project. So this will bring you to a blank white template and it will be the size that we set it to. The next thing we're going to do is create a border. So to do this, we're going to go under elements and we're going to look for the area that says line. You're going to scroll down until you find this nice thick looking square. We're going to put that on. All you have to do is click and it'll appear and then we're going to adjust it so that it fits to the size of our paper. We want it completely covering the border. This border is going to come in handy later when we're cutting out the stickers. Once you've done that, you're going to hit share and then you're going to hit download and this will download it onto your computer. From here, we're going to head over into the official CryCut Design Space application. This is downloaded onto the computer, so make sure that you have that ready to go before you start. You can find the link to the application down in the description box. So from here, we're going to actually upload that image that we just downloaded from Canva. So to do that, you're just going to go to the bottom and you're going to hit the upload button. And then you're going to select the file that we downloaded. Once you do that, it's going to ask you what type of image this is. They have simple, they have moderately complex, and they have complex. I just always hit complex. The next screen is their built-in background remover, which will really come in handy later with the stickers. But for now, we're just going to remove the white in the background. All you have to do to do that is click and it will get rid of the entirety of that white. Next, it's gonna ask what kind of upload this is. We're gonna select print then cut image. After that, it will be uploaded into our design space. So the next thing we have to do is click and then upload again. This time, we're going, it's gonna place it into the actual design mat. So just like we did in Canva, we're gonna change the size again to four by six. In order to do that, you're gonna head to the top toolbar area and you're gonna go where it says size and then you can manually type in four by six. Just make sure if you're having any issues that that little lock at the top is not locked. Otherwise it kind of has pre-selected sizes and will autofill and it gets really annoying. The next thing we're gonna do is go under where it says operation in that same toolbar and we're gonna select that menu and hit pen. This is going to tell the Cry Cut Joy to draw the image that we have in our mat. And then we're just going to hit make it. Next, you're going to want to select on mat. And it's going to connect to your Cry Cut Joy at this point. So make sure that that is plugged in. You're going to want to open it up and have your mat out. Remember to take the plastic protector sheet off of the mat. And we're going to load that into the Cry Cut machine. For material, you can just hit cardstock and you're gonna wanna make sure that your pen is also loaded on the Cry Cut Joy machine. We're actually going to have the Cry Cut Joy draw directly onto its mat. We're doing this because it's gonna show us where we're gonna put our sticker sheet on later. So once you have all your materials loaded, you can go ahead and hit go. And afterwards, your mat should look something like this. 
Okay, so now we're going to head back into our cry cut workspace and we can actually get rid of that image of the border because we're not going to need this one anymore. Now we're going to head over into the Canva workspace again and we can continue using the same template we had before. And at this point, you're going to want to add in all of your stickers. So here I'm just putting all my stickers side by side on the template. And I made them all about the same size so you can vary in size as much as you want as long as it fits. You don't want anything too close to the lines that we set up. Additionally, you can see in the image that I've actually positioned the stickers on the right side a little more into the center. This is because I had some issues with them being too far to the right and getting cut off. So just to be safe, I pushed them a little more in the center. You can play with this a little, but that's my suggestion. And just like we did before, we're going to hit share and we're going to download this exact image once again. You can make as many of these as you like. So now we're going to head back into the cry cut design space and we're going to upload the image that we just downloaded just like we did before. And this time you definitely want to make sure that you hit complex because we have a bunch of different shapes and styles going on here and we want to make sure that the cry cut can differentiate each line. Next you're going to want to go ahead and click on any background colors that may be presented in your stickers. If you have them cut out perfectly, great. If not, cry cut space can help with that just be sure to zoom in really well because sometimes when it gets rid of the background it leaves these little lines that get in the way of the cutting process so make sure all of the background is gone just do a really close sweep after that you're going to hit print then cut image and then it, you can hit upload after that, we're going to upload it directly into the design space. So just like we did before, we're going to resize this down to 4 by 6 Never forget this step because it never uploads into the right size. And you might notice that I had some issues with the sizing there. That was because the lock button was on, so always make sure to check because as you can see, it gets really annoying and it keeps changing the numbers. So I actually had another sheet of stickers that I made in that same template that I'm uploading now. So if you have additional stickers that you want to do, go ahead and upload them. You're only going to upload two sheets at a time. Once you have all the images in the design space, you're going to click and drag your mouse to select all. And then at the bottom right, you're going to see a little paperclip object that says attach and you're going to hit that. By attaching this, it's going to make the printing process easier. One thing you're going to notice is that there are these little caution triangles on the side there. And if I hover over it, it says that printing is not supported by the joy. So this is when we're going to have to use that workaround to get what we want. So in order to do that, you're going to go to the top and you're going to select where it says joy and you're going to switch that into maker. By doing this, you're telling the design space that you're using a different type of machine that can support printing. Once you do that, you can go ahead and hit make it. Once you do that, the design space is going to look for any printers in the area and you're going to select your printer and hit print. If the paper you use doesn't have a glossy finish and you want one, this is when you're going to want to pull out that tape. All you're going to do is take long pieces of tape and put it directly over your stickers and try to line it up perfectly so that there isn't a weird gap in between. And if you can, only put one sticker on each part of the tape. So you don't want two pieces on one sticker and that'll make it look more professional. We're going to go ahead and cut the very inside of our black border. You want to take your time with this because if you mess this part up, it kind of messes up the cutting portion of this. So in order to do this correctly, go ahead and cut on the very inside of the border so that everything lines up when we stick it onto the mat. After you've done that, it should look something like this. Now we're going to head back to our design space one more time. And this time we're going to be switching the operation to cut. Now if you had two sticker templates on the design space before when we printed you're going to delete one we're only going to be cutting one at a time afterwards once you switch the operation to cut it's going to create outlines of all of your stickers double check those outlines and make sure there's no obtruse lines or anything that would get in the way you want to make sure that the joy is going to cut out your images exactly how you want them and do not forget to go into the top right corner and switch from maker back to joy Next, you're going to hit make it, and then you can go ahead and select on mat. Oh, 
After it's connected to your join machine, you can go ahead and select the Lux Paper Adhesive Back as your material. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you've loaded your knife back into the cry cut machine and you want to make sure that your stickers are placed correctly onto the mat. We're going to place the stickers perfectly on where the lines are. The very edge of the paper should coincide with the very edge of the line on the mat. Once you've stuck down your stickers onto the mat, you can go ahead and load it into the machine. And once everything is loaded, you can go ahead and press go. And it's very important that you do not forget to press cancel after the cry cut has finished cutting out all your stickers because then it's going to try and cut out that line we put on the mat and we don't want that. After that, you can go in and do that as many times with as many sticker templates as you had and then you are done and you can check your work. Your stickers should look something like this. Mine came out really good. I'm really happy with them. I think they're adorable. The little milk stickers I actually made myself. I drew them so I really love them the most. But anyway, I hope that video was helpful. I hope that was clear. If you enjoyed this video and you think it helps someone else, please leave a like so that they can also find it. And if you want to see more content like this or other music related tutorials, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can hear about every time I post. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.